What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Yep, I read the title and you already know what it's about. That's right, guys. I heard from everybody, I heard rumors, and the rumors are going to come true that TNA Impact is moving Monday nights, March 1st, permanently. Yep. TNA. Is that is that a good move or a bad move? What should I say? Hmm. What should I say? I think it's a bad move. I don't know. This is this. You know, because TNA has to work their way up to go to a 2.0 rating. But Hogan and Bishop having an idea, you know, having Monday Night War and going Monday nights permanently. And right now it's like, damn, it's too soon, you know. He did it prematurely before going a 2.0 rating. It haven't even been a 2.0 rating yet in TNA. It's been a 1.5 or 1.6, 1.6. Probably Hogan felt like Hogan and Bishop probably felt that they want to put in on Mondays because they got ratings, 1.5 rating, more than it did when they had on Thursdays. That's probably the reason why Hogan and Eric Bischoff put it on Monday nights. You think that's a good move? Nah, I don't think so, but WWE Raw is always going to beat them in the ratings, even though they, they're not going to try hard, they're still going to win. They they um they always gain a 3.5 rating, sometimes a 4.2 rating, and yeah, that's what I got to say, man. Oh yeah, supposedly I heard that um Chris Jericho and Hurricane Helms, Gregory Helms got arrested yesterday at five in the morning in Kentucky. Um they were they had alcohol in their system and they smelled a breath of alcohol and they took them to jail. They had a monk shots. Uh, wow, this is going crazy over here. Pro wrestling. Chris Jericho's, you know, has been arrested. He is his first arrest. Even Hurricane Helms' first arrest. Yeah, man. As long as he's not Gilbert Arenas, bringing the guns in the in the arena, putting pointing on on his teammate, Jarvis Cradenton. He, they both got, well, they both got um, suspended, and plus, um, they sentenced for weapon weapon family. Yeah, and supposedly, um, I heard that TNA on um, March first they're gonna bring three more or three more old um legends, guys like um, what's his name? Diamond Dallas Page. Yeah, I don't know who's Diamond Dallas Page. The man with the diamond cutter. Bang. Diamond Dallas Page. The Ultimate Warrior. And. Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah. Dig it. Macho Man Randy Savage. Ultimate Warrior. And Diamond Dallas Page. What do you think about that move? Uh, too much. Like, seriously. I understand TNA is bringing older talent to help the company, but come on. This is bringing too much. This is too much already. It's going to end up looking like WCW. But they, they got to stop with bringing so much old guys, you know. It's, it's, it's enough already. But uh, it's a bad move I, right now. I'll tell you right now. They're 50 years old. And supposedly I heard that um that the Ultimate Warrior, last time I saw him, he's in great shape. For a 52-year-old guy, he, he, he's not, he doesn't have it no more in wrestling. But he's, still, he's never been good in wrestling, but... He got the body though. He still got good shape. He's still in good, good body physique. So does the Diamond Dallas Page. I heard Diamond Dallas Page does yoga. And the Macho Man Randy Savage heard he's in cocaine. And, but afterward, you know, probably stop that and you never know. Anything in wrestling, you don't know what they're doing. So bring those guys in. I'm like, wow, that's crazy though. Damn. Those guys are in their 50s. Uh, we're gonna see those guys wrestling. 
wrinkles on her face. And I don't I don't see this TNA no more. I see this Total Nonstop Singers. TNS. Total Nonstop Singers. What do y'all think about that guys? Y'all y'all agree or disagree? As total nonstop singers now, bringing guys that are from their 50s to the mid 50 to the early mid or late 50s to the early 60s. It's like too much, you know. They brought too much old guys, maybe in their late 40s. Man, that's crazy, though. Bro, TNA is having a war Monday Night Raw, and I, Monday Night Raw is gonna kick their ass in the ratings. Forget it. Oh, and especially that Stone Cold's gonna be special guest host on Raw on March 15th. Forget about it. It's, they're gonna blow the roof. There's no way TNA could compete right now with the Monday Night Raw. But supposedly, I heard, you never know, it could be surprises. Supposedly, I heard Rey Mysterio is gonna retire team on WWE. But you never know, you might see some changes. Well, a change of mind. Rey Mysterio might end up joining the TNA. Or to Mexico, you know, one of those companies. But you know how the people, the wrestlers, always say never. Um, you know, they retire never. It's like the old saying, never say no to the business. Um, so meaning that they, they could retire. It's like they're gonna have that Brett Favre moment. Brett Favre retires and come back. Retires, come back. Retires and come back. Brett Favre, you know, he's the man that that, that carried. Uh, the, the the Packers and the Vikings to the playoffs, going to the Super Bowl, and he won one ring with the with the um, Green Bay Packers. And Brett Favre, from years, from, he retired for like already five times, and he still comes back. Yeah, it's gonna hear wrestlers all now. It's you know wrestling. You're gonna hear guys retire back and forth, back and forth. You're gonna see them coming back from retirement. Now uh, it happens in wrestling, you know. But I understand Rey Mysterio has injuries and he has to deal with and probably wants to spend time with his family. Damn. Wants to spend time with his family. Um, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Yeah, like I said, TNA. Hogan and Bishop, I don't know, this is a bad move right now. It is a bad move. I just find it dumb for, for doing that. Alright guys, I'm out of here later.